Hi everyone, welcome to a godly home. I am making a cheeseburger casserole today. This is a new recipe to me. And I really have some extra things that need to be done today. So I was looking for something that I could feed my guys and have hopefully enough leftovers for them to pack for their lunch. Something that I can pop into the oven and then be able to continue to do what other stuff I need to do while it cooks. Um, I'm going to be layering this casserole in the cast iron pan that I'm cooking my hamburger in. And I don't know why when I was younger I never thought of this, but I would just kind of follow the recipe and the recipe would say, you know, cook your hamburger and then put it into a 9 by 13 for whatever casserole I might be doing. Well, as I get older, I get wiser. And it's like, why am I going to dirty all of those dishes? And I wash my dishes by hand. So I'm going to cook my hamburger in this cast iron pan. And then I'm going to bake it in the cast iron pan because it's oven safe. And then this is just like a one pot wonder. When my guys go to work, I can just wash up our plates and, and this and stuff and be on my way in like five minutes. All right, so I got two pounds of hamburger cooking. And to that, I am going to be adding a can of cream of chicken soup. You can use any cream soup you want. And then the recipe calls for a can of cheese soup, which I don't have. So I am going to be substituting for two of these cheese packets from Dollar Tree, which is four ounces. If you don't have either of those, I would just add a handful of shredded cheese or some sliced American cheese after I added the cream soup. Make do with what you've got. We're all trying to budget shop and, you know, using what we have. Speaking of budget shopping, my husband and I were able to find some hamburger for $1.99 a pound, and that was a blessing. We got 15 pounds, and it's not our favorite hamburger. We usually like the grass-fed hamburger, and usually this store, the hamburger is okay, but it's not the greatest. Usually we kind of avoid buying it. But at a dollar ninety nine a pound, we're like, we would have to be nuts not to buy this. So this is what I'm using, and you know it'll be extra good in a casserole, whereas it might not be my favorite with burgers. So on this, I used a little bit of this no salt flavor mate seasoning blend, original blend, because that's going to be really salty. And I'm supposed to be following a low sodium diet. So I will have a small little section of this and then some fruit or something with it. So um, these, these were a gift from my subscriber, Becky. Um, this is the Flavor Mate brand and she sent me the original blend the table blend sorry about that i had that on the table southwest lemon pepper and garlic and herb i've really really been enjoying these um, I may try to figure out how to make some knockoff ones of each flavor. They've been very good. Um, obviously, if you're not following a low sodium diet, then you could just add a little seasoning salt to this, or you could just leave it plain, whatever you want to do. Um, back to the seasonings. This table blend is very good on anything. I even put it on top of a sweet potato last night in place of salt and it was good i tried this one on tacos and it's more like a mesquite barbecue chip flavor 
It was okay on tacos, but I think this will be really good on homemade french fries or burgers. The lemon pepper, I made like a tuna noodle casserole the other night and put some of this in it and it was excellent. Then the garlic and herb, I did some deep fried mushrooms and broccoli last night to go with my sweet potato and I put a little bit of this in my batter and that was delicious. And then I didn't even need to dip them in ranch dressing, which is also sodium, just that and my batter was great. And then of course, this is the first time I'm trying the original blend on the hamburger, but I can tell you the smell of it while it's cooking, it's very similar to if I had just used a little seasoning salt. All right, Becky, thank you so much. That was an awesome, awesome gift. This was a set off of Amazon. If anybody is looking to purchase that set, I really do recommend it. It's super good. So here I am adding the cream soup in the two packages of Velveeta cheese sauce from Dollar Tree. And I am just stirring that in Sunshine really well. Is beautiful today. I'm sure you can see it shining through my kitchen window. I didn't cook that hamburger like more than just done through and got rid of the grease because it's going to be cooking at 350 degrees for an hour and I don't want it to get overdone. Okay, now that I've got that thoroughly mixed, I'm just going to fill the rest of the pan up with french fries. Let's put a little bit more of our seasoning right over the top of these french fries. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. So I am going to steam these frozen peas in the microwave to go with it. And they take five minutes. And we're going to have some... Um, fruit cocktail with it. Okay, here it is. This one's going to be my husband's plate. Oh, that looks so good. Everybody loved this one. That's why we didn't have any leftovers. I gave it an eight. My husband gave it an eight. My son said it was a four as it was, but then he added hot sauce and some crunched up potato chips over the top. He said it needed something crunchier and then he said it was an eight at that point. So you guys can do whatever you want to with his review. But I did think if nothing else, it would be humorous to include his review. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.